Now this is the program that's going to replace your fan controller. This is ASUS Fan Expert 2. Uh, now when you first open it up, you're greeted with this. It wants to auto-tune your fans. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click OK. It's going to ramp all the fans up to their maximum RPM. A lot of times you use mismatched fans in your system. Maybe you don't know what the max RPM is. This is going to tell you roughly what the max RPM is. It's also going to ramp them down and find out what the minimum value is, and the minimum is typically off. This will give the motherboard, actually the Super I.O. controller on the motherboard, all the information it needs to keep your system cool and quiet. Another thing that I like about this program is that it does talk to the Super I.O. controller. Um, it works with 3-pin and 4-pin fans, so it's I'm not even sure how they did it, some sort of magic, um, but you usually do not get this much information or this much control out of a 3-pin fan, but with this program and this Super I.O. controller, you really do. After we configure this, we can uh, change the way the fans work, and we can also um, configure where they're located, and that's just going to be a visual reference to help us. Okay, so we're finished. We're just going to go ahead and click on Next. And uh, now we're given an opportunity to name and locate all of our fans. So I've already named the CPU fan. Uh, it's the Dark Knight, but normally this will just say CPU fan, uh, and we know where that one is, so we do not need to search for it. However, we have these other fans. We do not know where they're located. Uh, we've got the front fan. Uh, that one's already plugged in and named. But then we also have chassis fan and the bottom fan. Normally this will, these will just be named chassis fan 1, chassis fan 2, and chassis fan 3, but I've already been playing with the software a little bit. But I did, I did move things around just to mix it up. So what we want to do is locate this fan. The position is unknown. Oh no, where is it? Now we can go in here and tell it where it is, but what if I don't know where it is? Well, I need to find it. So I click on search here. Now what this does is it slows down the other fans or stops the other fans and keeps this one revving. Uh, so this one's going to rev up and it'll be easy to find. Okay, just looking at it right now, I see that that is my large 200 millimeter fan. So that's going to be right in the front. So I'm going to call this one the front fan, which I already have titled it. You can change the name. And then I'll move the position here to the front. And there it is. Blam. Now we have the uh, chassis fan 2. I'm not sure where that one is. Let's go ahead and take a look. Do a search. Hit start. That one spins. The others stop spinning. And there it is. Uh, we'll, we'll have that one be the, uh, that'll be the top fan. So let's go ahead and get our position here. And we're putting that one right in the top. And this one... I already know it's on the bottom, so I don't need to search for it because it's the last one process of elimination because we are all smart like that. There we go, on the bottom. And then, you know, the other fans you can configure um, if you have any more installed. So go ahead and hit OK. Now it's time to tune these up. We can do some auto-tuning here. Uh, there's three different modes, and if you just want to do it that way, you can do it, or you can run them at full speed, and maybe for overclocking or something like that, or you're having some heat issues, you can do that. But what I prefer to do is go over into advanced mode because here we have a lot of control. Now, on the bottom here, these, these um, bullets, these will let you switch between fans. This is the Dark Knight. There's two different ways to configure these. You can do Smart Mode, uh, where you allow the fan speed to ramp up as the temperature gets hotter here, as you can see on the graph. Or we can do an RPM Fixed Mode, where you just run it at maximum RPM, or you can you know set whatever RPM you want. I'm not going to do that, uh, because I'd rather have this dynamically ramp as it gets warmer. I want things to be nice and quiet, and that's what this is all about. So let's take a look at some of the other fans here. We've got our front fan, which is our big 200 millimeter fan. Now this one, um, we do have an option to turn this fan off, and it'll turn it off until the uh, you know the system hits around 40 degrees Celsius, and then it'll turn it on. But this one's in the front, and I have my hard drives there, so I'm going to leave that one on all the time just to keep the hard drives cool. Now, we can also change the fan reaction speed because sometimes the fan reaction speed can create some noise and we don't want that. You know, when they're revving up, it, it revs up quickly and it sounds like a vacuum cleaner. It kind of startles me. So we'll have it rev up kind of slow and then rev down. You, you know, you can set this up however you like or you can leave it off. So just something cool that they've added. And then for our uh, top fan, yeah, I'm going to let that one turn off. And let's see here. But I want it to come on if things start getting warm. This will keep things nice and quiet, and then we can set these, you know, you can basically set this any way you want. And then last but not least, we have our third fan. This one's in the bottom. Uh, I'm going to leave this one off until we start getting around 40 degrees, and I'll have it kick on and blow some air up that'll be exhausted out the top of the system. Now let's show you how much information you have on all of your different fans here. Uh, when we're on this screen, we can come down here and click on Fan Information. So we click on that, and it gives us um, the name of the fan, which I have named myself, and then it tells you the maximum fan speed and all the other fan speeds it can run at. This is what it's going to be running at on the graph, you know, when you go to 10%, 20%, whatever. So then it gives you all of that information over here. And there you can see the curve on the graph. Quite fancy.
You can do that with the other fans as well. There's the front fan. And let's go back. All right, now let's say we want to rename these. It's as easy as going up here, picking your fan. You know, we got the front fan. That's the 200 millimeter. So just click on that. You can edit it. And uh, let's just go ahead and call that... Easy enough. Save it. There we go. So as you can see, it's a really easy to use uh, program. And of course, you've got your sensors over here so you can see what's going on uh, with your system. Now this is all part of the uh, AI suite. So if you're using an ASUS motherboard and you have not installed the AI suite, do it right now. Uh, if you're someone who's looking at different motherboards and you're trying to figure out why one is a little different than the other or why one is $10 more, well, ASUS puts really nice components on their motherboards and um, they have high quality Super I.O. controllers on everything all the way down to their entry level motherboards. So with something like this, if you get this, you're going to save a lot of money, um, you know, because you're not going to need a fan controller. So in my mind, this makes more sense. Plus, you have more control here than you do with the fan controller and you're going to end up with a quieter and cooler system. So this just makes a lot of sense to me and this is why I use it. So. If you have any questions, email me, inbox at techsyndicate.com, or you can head over to the forums at Tech Syndicate. Um, there's a lot of people there just waiting to help you. I'll see you next time.